Hey. Hey. Okay, so my name is Grada Love, and um, before I get into my set, I like to give warnings, okay? I think it's polite, right? So um, this warning is from all the dreamers to the naysayers. So we gotta let them know what the fuck is going on. <clears throat> No offense, but y'all do know somebody about to try to offend somebody else, right? So, no offense, but do you know how many people move out to LA and don't make it? The statement of a quote unquote intellect. The ones who support your dreams as long as they're smaller than their realities. I said, the ones who support your dreams as long as they're smaller than their realities. I laugh externally and backtrack to write this statement and mark this day because a challenge accepted is your invitation to get the fuck out of my way my ambition cannot be danced around or paraded for the sake of speaking my actions will creep up on you and recognition will scare you be careful how you speak to a visionary your hope should be that you end up in the vision sliced and diced into precision this game being played ain't for the sake of playing i'm in this Dance with me or hold up the wall watching. I don't care what you do, but whatever you choose, make your decision now. Because the day that I'm crowned, I would hate for you to be in the audience and not backstage, stop changing faces. Eventually, I won't be able to recognize you. But um, <clears throat> excuse me as I bow. I'm just crafting myself now and racking up energy to manifest my inner G grata. Spell it out with me. G-R-A-D-A. And don't forget the L-O-V-E. You might know me, but if not, you'll get to know me. Thank you, so that's just my introduction for, uh, I don't know if y'all got some haters in the background. Haters look, look a lot like the people closest to you sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, why y'all look alike? What's that? Um, but you just gotta protect your vision, okay? Protect your dreams, like they're your children, okay? So another warning I like to give is for my lovers. Like uh, somebody mentioned earlier, come correct, please, and thanks. <clears throat> I told you I was heavy. So heavy you can't hold me. Might attempt to carry me, but then you'll have to Marry me, I warned you. Not once, but twice. Yet you still rolled the dice and tried to bet on me. <laughs> With this, you can't be lazy. Booty requires two hand touches, self-reflections, glimpses into the mirror, you may wonder why you love me. With your right arm stronger than the left, you still caressed my left breast with your fingertips. As the feels trickled down my thigh, I told you I was heavy, but you said you don't mind. Picked up my chin, I sucked my stomach in. You waited for me to exhale. I could breathe again, but still too heavy to let you bear it all. So gently I fall, attempting not to make a sound. I hit the ground and your hand was there. I told you I was heavy, but see, you don't fucking care. <laughs> Thank y'all, that is heavy. That is just a warning because if you're in astro into astrology, you know, the water signs be crying. We be, I'm a Cancer sign, Pisces moon, so I'm like, these emotions are heavy. You coming or you not? Let's make that decision now. So um, now I'm going to reintroduce myself now that you've made it past the warning. <clears throat> Some might ask, who are you? And I'll respond. I am the first discovery of my kind. Actual masterpiece. Crafted by the master in me, call it self-mastery. Shiro, your favorite hero's hero. Save the day with compassion you found yourself unworthy of. I am soul seeker. I'll set fire to your sneakers until your soul rises. Don't care about your feet if your mind is dying. I wait for truth. Meet you at the altar. Baptize you in revolution. Paint my wildest dreams come true. I am a mother by right. Not just capabilities. 
No physical manifestations of my seeds, but I make the world grow. Challenging intellect and physical abilities alike. I told you I was heavy. You couldn't carry me if you tried too many times. I've watched both mind and ego die. Without a bullet, without a disease, without breath leaving body. I watched surrender to situations lead people to wells of death too many times. I've watched their power transferred to the world around them and woman in me resurrected dead beings. I honor your blessings. Leave your sins where you repent. Leave mine in life's classroom. <laughs> I ain't no avatar, but you could call, oh, hold up now. <laughs> <laughs> Caught myself now. See, that's that, when that energy is strong, it gets you. I ain't no avatar, baby, but you could call me an airbender. Because in 100 degree weather, I give you breath of the coldest winter. I am both saint and sinner, both loser and winner, both child and elder, both food and shelter. I am light, like you've never seen it before. Damaged, bruised, but refurbished goods, you could categorize me as like new. I am home improvement without grout. Ain't no copy nor paste. We work from inside out find peace, like it's my only life's journey, my only God-given right and responsibility. Who am I, <laughs> you might ask? Well, I am the first discovery of my kind, actual masterpiece, crafted by the master in me. Call it self-mastery, but um, for the sake of time, you could call me Grotta Love. Thank you. Yes. See, y'all feel like I know me a little more, right? Yes. Yeah, I got a lot of compassion. I handed out like candy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this last piece is a piece that'll make you think. I am a podcast host. I host Marrying the Unigod. It is a conversational podcast where we just discuss everyone's spiritual journey, whatever it is, wherever you come from, where you came from, where you at, because a lot of things happen in the evolution process. So. Marrying the Unigod, you can find me on Instagram at Grada Love. Grada like Prada, but with a G, so G-R-A-D-A dot L-O-V-E. So yeah, holla at me. <clears throat>